Hey, it's Brian with The Midnight Mechanic with your tech tip for today. If you're doing the brakes on your car, especially the rear brakes, there's a good chance that the piston in your caliper can't be pressed straight back in. A lot of times, especially with newer cars, they have to be rotated as they're pressed in. So you cannot use just a regular old C-clamp or a pry bar to get that thing pushed back in. You need to rotate it as you press it. That's when you need a kit like this right here that'll allow you to push that caliper piston back in while rotating it. This right here is the kit that you're gonna need in order to push that piston back in safely without damaging anything. It has different keys for all different makes and models. It also comes with a little list that shows you what should be the right ones for your car. If it's not on here, you can always just find the key and match it up and make sure it works. It also comes with these hangers that helps hang the calipers up out of the way to keep that brake hose from getting damaged like we always say when we do our brake videos. It also has a left hand and a right hand one to make sure that you're rotating it in the right direction as you push it back in. So we're gonna go ahead and show you how it works on our Malibu by using this kit. We're using the right-handed one because we're on the passenger side. You take this little bracket and you slide it down so it sits on here. Now you see those two little tabs there, they match up with this. So once that's on there, it's a little magnetic, so it stays put. You're gonna take this and match it up there and make sure that this little plate is underneath. And you're gonna match up those tabs right there and turn this clockwise hard to do I'm trying to show you guys what I'm doing here and I meant counterclockwise because this is the passenger side turn that counterclockwise until it seats up against the caliper there so that's what it's going to look like when you turn this, it's going to rotate that piston to push it back in. And it's also going to push against this to force it back in. As this goes down, this right here will get loose. So you'll have to continually rotate this to keep it wet for having pressure on it. This boot here is going to want to rotate with the piston. What we normally do is I normally put a little bit of penetrating oil on it and it keeps it spinning. Sorry, we're gonna rotate it clockwise. You can see it's going down in there. That boot is not spinning. Every now and then, tighten that up a little bit. If that boot starts moving, Spray a little more penetrating oil on it. It's starting to spin a little bit. Back it off just a hair. Spray a little bit more oil on it. Now you can keep going. If it does bind up, just back it off just a hair until it straightens out. And then you can start moving again. So there it is, it's all the way compressed in there until it goes tight. It's a lot more time consuming than using a big old C-clamp, just like a regular standard one. This took like five minutes to get that thing rotated back in there, but it's done now and you can go ahead and start working on the rest. To get it off, rotate this to make that loose. Then you can take it off, and clean it off and put it back in your kit. Now you're ready to finish installing your brake pads and put everything back together. So now you know how to get that piston pushed back into that caliper safely without damaging anything. This kit's about $40 and it's really handy to have in your toolbox. If you don't know if your piston needs to be rotated to push back in, look online. I'm sure there's something out there that tells you what you need. Don't forget to buy this kit before you start or else you'll end up in a situation. If you have anything else you'd like to learn about, any other tools you'd like to see, post down below in the comments. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook at The Midnight Mech, TikTok at The Midnight Mechanic, and we'll see you guys next time.